Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. is gameplay footage. Now there are multiple ways you can record it, such as using OBS if you're on a computer, you can use an Elgato game capture device if you're on a PlayStation 4 or on an Xbox or basically a console. So in order to actually create a commentary, you need the gameplay on your computer. So in order to actually create a gameplay slash commentary, what you need to do is basically get the footage onto your computer and you want to drag that into Vegas Pro. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is our gameplay. So in order to actually make this a little bit more attractive, what you can do is first of all this is really really important and this is basically a rule that's been applied by a lot of video editors and that is to make this footage a lot smoother so what you want to do then is you want to right click on the video hit properties at the very bottom and you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample that's going to make your gameplay look just a little smoother especially for gaming when you're gaming in high fps such as 60. okay so the next thing we need to do is spice up the footage just a little bit i think this footage looks a little, little bit a little bit like grayed out a little bit like it could just use a little bit more power so we're gonna go to the video effects tab and we're gonna go to brightness and contrast drag on the default one on top of the clip and you want to just go ahead and add in a little bit more contrast just like that as you can see that looks really really cool so let's go ahead and play it back so as you can see the contrast is now high up it is a lot a lot better so in order to create a commentary you obviously need audio now there are two ways you can record audio just plug in your microphone and then you can also to use a software which is named audacity which i'm currently using for this video as you can see when i'm talking there are like just sound waves appearing or you can just use the recording system in vegas pro so in order to do that is you want to right click on this zone you want to insert an audio track and then we're going to click on this microphone icon and then we're going to basically choose our recorded files folder i'm going to just keep this on documents then we're going to click on okay and now if i click on okay this sound bar is actually like moving up and down okay so in order to actually record your commentary you want to click on this little icon below the preview screen so let's just hit that and as you can see at the very bottom it is now recording into vegas pro you don't need to use an external software if you don't want to and export it you can just use vegas pro 17 itself to record a gameplay footage or like a commentary and talk about a lot of things and that's basically how you can do it guys and obviously like the cool thing is that you can also just you know for example add in overlays screen captures, pictures, anything like that. If you're talking about, you know, specific items during your commentary, let's say that you're talking about the apocalypse, for example, let's you just having gameplay underneath it while you're talking. What you can do is you can just go ahead and add like, you know, screen recordings from your videos being demonetized, any of that stuff, basically like a lot of like really, really big gaming YouTubers are doing right now. They're just covering news with like gameplay underneath it. And that's a really, really cool way to create some awesome gaming slash commentary videos in Vegas Pro 17 guys welcome back to a brand new video now in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys something really cool so you guys all know the artist uh billy ellish she sometimes has like black eyes in like certain videos so i thought like why shouldn't we just recreate that so what i do is i just stand here in front of the camera the green screen doesn't really matter but it actually is about our eyes that we're going to make black so in order to actually do this we're going to also track our eyes which is really cool in vegas pro 16 you can also do that and vegas pro 17 so if you're wondering if you can do this in sony vegas pro 13 or 14 which some of you still have it is unfortunately not possible well it is possible if you want to mask it all by yourself like frame by frame but we're going to use the Beezer masking for now so I'm just going to use this clip in the editing itself in order to show you guys how to like track your eyes while you're moving and also make them black so if you guys are excited make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new for more Vegas 17 tutorials and all kinds of videos basically on this channel so with that being said let's get started right after the intro So as you can 
guys here right now we are in vegas pro 17 and what we're gonna do first of all is we need a couple things first off we need the clip that we just filmed right here and then we also need like a black image so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna drag that first image that black one on top of everything that we have so then what we need to do is we need to basically motion track our eyes i'm just gonna go ahead and for example like split it for example right here duplicate this clip by pressing Control c then press Control v again but we don't need the audio we, do, we only need the audio once so then i'm going to right click and insert a new video track and then i'm going to drag this clip on top of it and this is basically where we're going to mask we need to motion track our eyes actually on the second clip right here the top one so we're going to mute this lower clip we're going to lower the opacity for now and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the video effects tab and we're going to pick baser masking or how do you even pronounce it i'm not really too sure i heard like a thousand different you know pronunciations but we're going to pick the circular one and we're going to drag that on top of a duplicated clip now as you can see right now this is basically what we will see and what we need to do now is we need to select both of our eyes so we also need two of those so that's basically what we're going to do so the simplest thing that we're going to do is duplicate this track like that we were tracking two eyes so now what we need to do is we need to basically crop this down and we're going to also make it in terms of like an eye shape like that we're going to lower the opacity of that one just first of all okay so then as you can see this is just kind of like an eye shape so now we need to just basically shrink this guy down until we have covered one of our eyes obviously so i'm going to do it like that but then i'm just going to also make it just a little bit smaller just like that and then we're going to also do that for the second one. So as you can see, this is only our eye masked out. So we also need to do that for the second one. So we're gonna click on the event back crop, go to Beezer masking, and we also need to make this one in kind of like an eye shape. And then we're gonna also shrink it down and also just, for example, like tilt it just a little bit. And we also can just position this on our eye on their other eye. But then we're going to also make that smaller. So let's close it out. So as you can see right now, both of our eyes are actually tracked. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the black holes will follow our eyes. So we're going to click on the Van Pan Crop of the first duplicated track, and we're going to go back to the Beezer masking. Now we're going to click on Mask 1, and you also need to click on Tracking. Now, as you can see, we have a timeline at the very bottom if we click on Start. Now it's going to create keyframes like really, really fast. And this is just a really handy feature because let's say that you have to do this manually frame by frame is going to take way too much time and that is basically a really really simple method to avoid like manual masking and tracking and all that it's just going to create keyframes just for ourselves so this is what we've done to the first eye or left eye obviously and now we also need to repeat this process for our right eye so i'm going to just wait until this is finished motion tracking so now we have all the keyframes right here as you can see in our timeline that's a lot of time saved as you can see we're going to also do that for the second one so click on the top one I'm going to click on Event Pan Crop, go to the Beezer Masking, you want to pick Mask 1, and then we're going to click on Tracking, and we're going to also hit Start, obviously. It is starting, obviously, right here. It's going to create the keyframes, just like we did a couple seconds ago on the first clip. And then the next thing we need to do is basically shrink down the eyes, and then obviously make sure that it will follow this tracking, and then you will have some black eyes, just like Billy Eilish has, because it's really easy to do this on an image, it's just adding some eye-shaped black images, or like, you know, a couple dots. But right here, when it comes to video, you want to make sure that, you know, that the eyes are following the exact motion track. As you can see right now, if I play it back, it is basically following our eyes. The only thing what we need to do now, mask out our eyes on this black image. So I'm going to also do that. So click on the event pen crop icon of that black photo. Then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in just a little bit. And then we're going to click on mask to begin with. And then we're going to go ahead and obviously mask out our eyes. So I'm going to lower the opacity for now so I can see through it. I'm going to hire the first one obviously so now obviously what you can do is zoom in quite a bit and let's go ahead and shrink this down and create our eye shape then we're gonna go ahead and drag it over our eye obviously you want to zoom in and adjust the shape and everything but you guys know how it works and what i try to say so we're gonna also do that for our other eye so let's go ahead and do that so now we're gonna also position it but as you can see right now i have to tilt it just a little bit to the to the right to make it look like a little more realistic as you can see now that we have this one what we need to do now is we're gonna hire the opacity of all the other remaining clips we need to go ahead and make sure well if, well first we're gonna align those eyes obviously to the first frame of the clip so i'm gonna drag this up just a little more okay so as you can see right now those are black eyes what we need to do now is we need to make sure that those eyes are following the motion track that we just applied onto both of these clips so in order to do that it's really simple you want you to go ahead and select this one select that one and that one so it will follow both of our eyes okay and the last thing that we need to do is we need to apply the picture in picture effect onto the eyes so that's basically what we're gonna do all right guys so as you can <laughs>
All right, that wasn't supposed to happen, but let's move on. All right, so the last thing that we need to do then is go to tools. You want to hit scripting and you want to click on copy motion track to PIP after you apply to the picture in picture effect, obviously. So we're going to hit that. So this is basically what it looks like, guys. Obviously, you can make your adjustments to these keyframes and it can look a little bit unrealistic, but you have to imagine that this is just done in, in a couple minutes. If you really, really want to take it to the next level, you can also mess with the blending mode and with the feather type to make your make the black holes like blend into your eyes you guys know how it rolls but this tutorial otherwise would be 45 minutes long showing you guys all the details but you guys right now know how it works you want to make sure they will just crop out the black eyes motion track your eyes obviously on those clips and also you just want to go ahead and copy that motion track to the picture and picture effect that's how the black eyes will follow along to your real eyes so guys that's for this video thank you so much for the continued support if you have any more suggestions for Vegas Pro 17 videos make sure to drop them in the comments down below thank you guys for the continued support I'll see you guys obviously in a brand new video on Wednesday. So that's it guys. And I'll catch you guys obviously in my next video.